Hello guys, it's Jensen here. Today we are going to be installing Arch Linux while following the handbook and installing some type of like window manager or whatever, you know, who cares. But we're going to start off with partitioning the disks. Before that, though, you might want to do the date if it's want to like set up your date and stuff. But uh, for me, my date is uh, quite accurate. So it will be fine. Um, so, to partition, to partition the disks, what you uh, first need to do is identify which one is your disk. So here, SDA is my uh, disk that I'm going to be using and partitioning. So you can use any anything to partition your disk, but I like to do, use CG disk. So you want to do CG disk, then uh, the disk you're going to do, so dev SDA. Ignore that warning. And we're going to be following uh, this guide here. So, uh, we're gonna, so if you wanna create this partition, this will be the, the boot partition. So you just wanna leave the first sector default. And this will do, um, 1024MIB. Click enter. And hex code we're gonna be using is because uh, we're using UEFI, will be EF00. I don't know what it is for BIOS, but uh, if you're using BIOS, it will, or legacy, whatever it's called, um, I suggest you go to UEFI if your motherboard supports it. So we're going to type EF00 and uh, it'll be named a boot. So boom, um, this free space is something to do with this, but don't worry about that. Let's go back to the free space. And uh, the swap will be, uh, I like to make it like half of my thing, half of my current amount of RAM, but uh, I'm going to set it to 4 GIB. Oh, wait, sorry. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> um. Alright, let me delete that. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, delete that. Um, I'm going to make it for GIB, and the code for swap is A2200, and we're just name that swap. And the rest you can just leave default. Um, you can have your root and home partition separate, but we're not doing that, so it's gonna leave it. I'm um, gonna name it root. So we have uh, a boot, a boot um, partition, our swap partition, and our root partition. I'm gonna go over to right, and I'm just gonna type yes. Boom, it's done. So uh, we're gonna quit, and we can move on to formatting the partitions. So we're gonna uh, mkfs.ext4. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, if you don't know which ones you are, so sda one for us is our boot, sda two is our swap, and sda three is our root. So we're going to do mkfs.ext4 slash dev slash sda3. So that's our root partition, so click enter. Should go without any errors. Uh, for our swap, it's sda2, so we're going to do mkswap sda2. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's ether slash. Boom, no errors. And for our EFI partition, um, mkfs.fat-f. 32 slash dev slash sda1 so that's just uh, given our partitions the right type of uh, file system well no not file system uh, partition scheme whatever it's called so uh, after we've done uh, the the partitions formatting them we can go to mounting them so we'll do uh, so for our, so our, for our dev partition you want to mount it on a slash mnt Boom, should go for any errors. Um, so, for your EFI partition, you want to mount it with the argument dash dash mkdir sda1, and that will create uh, on mnt the, the folder boot. So, go and for uh, a swap, we'll just do that. So, now we get, have to get around to installing the, our mirrors. So uh, you, you want to read this if you can, get some more information. But we're just going to type packstrap slash mnt, so that will install it to mnt, base, linux, and linux firmware. So uh, I will cut to when that is done. Okay, so it should only take a couple minutes to install it, but once it's done, I'm just going to create a screen and then we get to generate our fstab. 
So we're gonna follow this command. Uh, you should be fine just using the command that's on there. So the, but if you do need to change your arguments, you can. So we're gonna send that to mnt etc fstab. Should go for any errors. And now you can uh, true into your your system on the mnt. So boom, we're in the system now. And we're gonna set the time zone. So uh, here where it says region city, you will type your region and then your city. So uh, user. So uh, I live in England and it'll be London. So then Etsy local time. Should go fine. And uh, HW clock. Wait, hold up, assist. Okay, so that should set your time and uh, there shouldn't be any errors of that. So now we get to uh, do this. So uh, we have to. So this is where we have to install some stuff. So we will install vi, vim, nano, and sudo. Actually, no, yeah, we'll just install these three for now. We'll install sudo later. So we'll just click that, click yes. And um, I'm going to be using Vim for this, but you should be fine just doing it on like Nano. Let's see, locale.gen. Uh, and you're going to scroll down to where your language is. So um, I will be in the English section, ENGB here. So I'm going to insert that and uh, write it. So now we can uh, locale-gen to do it. And uh, we wait a second. It's done. Should go for any errors. So uh, then you want to next up you want to create the the locale dot comp file where you will type this whatever you typed in uh whatever you uncommented in uh locale dot gen. So mine will be lang equals en underscore us dot utf dash eight. And we'll write that. And uh next one will be v console comp and this will set it to uh, English American English I'm pretty sure but key map equals de Latin one right click and the next step is to make our host name so this can be literally anything you want but for demonstration purposes I'll just name it arch boom and uh we're making the in init ramps next. So uh MK init CPIO dash P. Let that run, take a couple seconds. And uh yeah, wait a second. Once it's done, uh you have you get to choose your your password for your root. So I've done that. So next step after this is to create the user. So you want to do user add dash m dash g users uh, dash capital g wheel storage and power this is what i use but you can set to whatever groups you want dash s bin slash bash then the name wants it to be so i'll type to jensen we need to set the password for that user so i'll set the password next step is that you want to install uh, sudo uh, you can use do as, but we'll set up later. Next step, uh, we'll do editor. So this will be making it a uh, sudo. So it'll be editor equals. So you can use nano, whatever. But I'll be using vim. Then uh, vi sudo. That's actually the sudo file. Where if you added your thing to the your used to the wheel group, you can just uh, uncomment this and write it. So the next step after this should be just to use the bootloader. So we're doing pacman dash s grub and efi boot mgr install that. Should go fine. You want to make the 
if anyone wants to make the directory in MNT boot, be named EFI. Oh, sorry, um, up here, when you're mounting it, so you do mount dash dash mkdr slash dev slash sda1, MNT boot EFI. So it so it will say the error, but um, if you can do it at the beginning, do do it. But um, yeah, so so this will just say it already exists. So then we can do um, grab dash install dash dash target equals eight x eighty six underscore sixty four dash efi dash dash boot loader dash id equals grub dash dash efi directory equals slash boot slash efi enter oh wait sorry uh where's the error there we go yeah so okay the slash boot slash efi first um so make sure when you're doing that uh, to um, create the slash boot slash EFI, because I forgot to do that. Next up, you want to do uh, grub dash mk config dash o slash boot grub slash grub dot cfg. This will create your your grub config. Should go fine. And uh, right here, uh, we should be fine to reboot. But first thing I'm going to set up is a uh, Xorg, so we're going to do pacman dash s xorg uh, xorg dash x in it, and uh, yep, just install xorg. It'll take a couple like seconds or minutes based on your internet, so you want to wait for that. Okay, so it's now done, so I'm going to be um, going into my home folder. I'm just going to create the folder source. And, um, oh wait, you need to install git too, because this will be, in, will be uh, using DWM for a window manager. So it will be git clone https go on slash slash git.suckless.org slash dwm and and git clone https slash slash git dot suckless dot org slash st so we'll do that won't take too long but we'll do st boom so uh, we have dwm and st so we're just gonna quickly install the, the make package so we can actually build it uh, CD or do we'll build ST first so you can modify it to whatever you want but I'm just going to do default stuff so we will do uh, make clean install what package config not found oh wait okay so um, the fix for it was to install the base dash devil package so don't forget to do that but uh, it went did a clean install so we do cd dwm make clean install which is probably uh, but uh, so we've done that so we're gonna go back and uh, make an x in it rc and just type exec and you should be fine to so exit, just reboot. So wait a couple seconds for it to reboot. Okay guys, so once you're in the system, you just want to um log in. Hold up. Uh, there we go. But we can make it full screen now. And uh, we can just do start X. Boom. Uh, we can, we now have 
Arch Linux with um, you now have Arch Linux fully installed. I hope you enjoyed the video.